guys, so as you might have noticed, my videos aren't doing so well as of late. Mainly because I keep getting demonetized for pretty stupid reasons. And whenever I'm in a funk and need some extra views and subs, I jump on a bandwagon. But of course, I take my time jumping on the bandwagon until everybody else is off of it and it's dead and buried in the dirt. And the dead bandwagon I'm jumping on today is the Butch Hartman bandwagon. This is not my first video on Butch Hartman. That would be I Don't Heart Butch Hartman, which I highly recommend you check out before you see this video. A lot of my YouTube friends have talked about Butch Hartman, such as Ellis Mark and Daft Pina. They both did an excellent job and brought a lot of new information to the table, especially Ellis Mark. In fact, I think Ellis Mark might have been the one to start the Butch Hartman bandwagon. But before I talk about Butch Hartman, I need to bring up the elephant in the room. Curl the artist. Unlike a lot of people talking about the Butch Hartman situation, I'm actually pretty good friends with Kuro. I met him through the whole Ben 10 drama between him and Seth the programmer. Through most of the situation, at least from what I've seen, Kuro was very calm and collected about everything that was going on, and even did what he could to stop some of the hate Seth the Programmer was getting. Early on in Kuro's YouTube career, I collabed with him a lot. At one point he even said, I think you did the most collabs with me out of anyone. But Kuro was never in it for the fame. When his YouTube channel started getting really big, he stepped down, renamed the YouTube channel from Kuro the Artist to The Ink Tank, and let several smaller creators upload videos on his channel. Kuro could have been greedy, and used his YouTube channel to get really famous and rich. But instead, he used it to help people with less subs than him to grow their channels. Kuro is an upstanding member of society, and he has accomplished much in his life, such as making his webcomic five years later, and even starting his own small business. I don't want to reveal too much about his personal life, mainly because some people have tried to dox him. But let's just say before he was starting his own small business, he was working with people with special needs which pretty much makes him a saint in my eyes. But unfortunately, because he has a good heart and he's trying to break into a pretty cutthroat industry, a few people, or at the very least one, has tried to take advantage of his kindness. And that person is Bitch Hartman. Now I've already done a video on Butch Hartman and talked about a few of the questionable things he has done. I don't want to repeat myself, but luckily for me, he has done a whole bunch of new stupid shit. Now as some of you know, I grew up in a really Christian family, and one time when I went to a Christian camp, Butch Hartman was there. I had no idea who he was and didn't really care at the time, but the point is, Butch is a Christian. But now he's a lot more of a hardcore Christian. I don't really have a problem with most religions, but when you say things like, autism can be healed with the power of prayer, I have a bit of an issue. I'm tired of people trying to heal cancer and other diseases with prayer or healing crystals. If you fall down the stairs and break your thumb, go to the doctor and don't use a freaking amethyst crystal to fix it. One hand at work is better than a million hands in prayer. It's also pretty offensive to say something like autism needs to be cured. There are many famous autistic people in the modern times and throughout history who have helped society a lot, such as Albert Einstein, Steve Jobs, Steven Spielberg, and many others. I even heard some people say that autism might be the next step in human evolution, but that's a video for another time. Butch, I understand you have accomplished a lot in your life, more than most people, and you have a pretty big ego because of it. But a lot of these autists who need to be cured have accomplished more than you. In fact, you're not jealous of them, are you? Now, of course, I'm just joking, but to think autism is something that needs to be cured is pretty ableist. Now, in my last video on Butch Hartman, I did talk about his Oaxis project and how when he advertised it, he said it would be family friendly, but then later said it would be Christian. But is there any new news about it? Is it out yet? The answer is no. He definitely should have asked for more than $250,000. That amount of money could make a really good cartoon pilot, but not an entire streaming service. And while I do think Oaxis is a really cool name, a combination of Oasis and Axis, at this point I don't think it will ever come out. And even by the off chance it does come out, there are so many streaming services, I guarantee you it will fail in less than a year. Of course, I don't know for sure. As the old saying goes, hindsight is 2020. Autistic people are not the only group that Butch Hartman has said questionable things about. 
He has said some very odd things about introverted people. If you're an introvert, it's a very selfish thing to be, and here's why. Because it's all about you. You're self-centered. You don't want to get out of yourself and go like, well, maybe I could communicate with these people. Uh, well, I'm just an introvert. I'm going to sit over here. People have to figure out what I'm thinking. Because mm. you're putting, you're making everybody else uncomfortable when you're an introvert like that. I always saw an introverted people where people who just like to keep to themselves and stay inside most of the time. Have you ever thought maybe it's the introverts who are making people uncomfortable? Just asking. But by far the most questionable thing Butch Hartman has said was when he said this to Tara Strong. But Tara was not the original Timmy Turner. The original actress was Mary Kay Bergman, who sadly passed away. But She, she was, was such a sweet, sweet lady. Sweet lady. Mm -hmm. She also did a bunch of voices on South Park when uh -huh. that first started. Yeah. She was the mom on South Park. No, she had a very prolific career. She was awesome. Doing great. And then she ended up passing away. And uh, I think Tara actually had something to do with that. And so <laughs> that's probably what that was probably your fault. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But uh, um, that was probably your fault. Now, to be fair, Butch Hartman has said a lot of these things during live streams or during podcasts. And people's brains tend to turn off when they're doing stuff live. That's actually why I don't live stream. I'm really afraid I'm going to say something really stupid. I mean, I already say enough stupid pre-recorded stuff as it is. I don't need to say stupid stuff while being live. But even then, as far as I'm aware, Butch Hartman has not commented on the criticism he has received from others about the stuff he has said. I mean, I get criticized myself for stuff I have said in the past and even today. Usually my answer is, oh, I could have worded that better, something along those lines. Now, many people call Butch Hartman a hypocrite for his Dynamite show. Butch wanted to make an action show about superhero mice, but the studio wanted him to make a comedy. So he bent to their will and made a comedy instead. But in a different video, he said this about Teen Titans Go. Years ago, if Cartoon Network had come to me and said, Hey Butch, we want you to make Teen Titans into a cartoon, I would have said, Cool! Awesome! And then they would have said, We want you to make it a comedy! And I would have said, No! Yeah, it does seem pretty hypocritical that he bashed the creators of Teen Titans Go for making Teen Titans Go a comedy and not an action show when he did the same thing himself. But it's a little less hypocritical than people might think. Mainly because Dynamice wasn't a show already and Teen Titans was. But it's still pretty hypocritical nonetheless. So you know how I brought up earlier that Kuro the artist isn't greedy and that's an aspect of his personality that I find really admirable? Well, Butch is the complete opposite. If you donate $5 to him, you get an email. Which is worthless! For $75, you get a YouTube shoutout. Uh, you know what, that one's fair. But for $5,000, you get to have a conversation with him. Uh, Butch, I don't know how much your time is worth, but you might have wanted to remove a digit there, just saying. And of course, one of the more recent things Butch Hartman has done is his show The Garden. Butch Hartman truly is the M. Night Shyamalan of the cartoon industry. He started off with a few good hits, then he constantly went downhill with only a few upticks. The garden art style kind of reminds me of the 2D Larry Boy TV show, if anyone remembers that. But it's clear that this show is pretty cheaply produced. There are shows on YouTube for free that look better than this. Like Hell of a Boss or Has Been Hotel. But how much do you have to pay for seven six minute long cartoon shorts? Um, maybe 13 bucks? Nope, 130. Again, Butch, you might want to remove a digit there, just saying. But maybe, Butch, you could use all that money you're earning to pay Kuro. Oh yeah, he hasn't paid Kuro the money he owes him. And I believe there's a lawsuit going on. Kuro, if you're watching this, which I'm pretty sure you are, I don't want your work to go to waste. I myself am working on a side project and I've been working on it for quite a while. I know a lot of you want to know what it is, but no spoilers. If I can raise enough money with my new project, I would totally love to pay Curl the $1,400 Butch owes him to finish the animation for me. If there's one thing I want everyone to take away from this video, is that this is a cautionary tale. The main sin of the Greek heroes was hubris. The closer you fly to the sun, the greater your chances are of getting burned. One thing I try not to forget is, I'm not here because I'm special. I'm here because of you guys. If any of you ever get popular, or you are popular now, just remember, your fans don't owe you anything. You owe your fans everything because they got you to where you are.
Hey guys, before we end this video off, I just want to give a big thank you to Lemmy. Out of all the editors I have worked with, Lemmy has by far the best editing. But unfortunately, he had to take a break from helping me to work on his own project. And he did an excellent 29 minute, 33 second review of Chicken Little. Unfortunately, the video only has just over 100 views, and that's just criminal. I want all of you to go check it out right now. Out of all the Chicken Little reviews I have seen, it's by far the best one. Now, before I end this video off, I know a lot of you are confused due to the ending of my last video on Dayton Hypernova. I said at the end of that video that I would be talking about my past in the next video. While that video has been completely recorded, unfortunately it came out to being a lot longer than I thought it would, and my editor is still working on it, so he needs a bit more time. But don't worry, the video should be coming out next month, or the month after that. Over here real quick, I want to show you guys some, uh... Very cool. Can you tell me who voiced tomorrow, uh, who voiced, um, uh... Is Danny Phantom ever going to come back? I don't own the rights. Epic. You know, Danny Phantom coming back, it could happen. My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube. Debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on. That was probably your fault.